Hi there, this is Kawa. This video is going to be a part two to my gaining power video that I put out about two weeks ago. And this one is going to be touching on some comments and questions that people bring up. Uh, so the first thing we're going to touch on is there is this belief that spenders and free-to-play players uh, gain power differently. That's not true at all because we just because we are spenders it doesn't mean that we don't share the same power options we use the same power options and we still look for the best rate of return no matter what the only difference between us two is that we have excess resource which allows us to up the specific system faster than a non-spender but the rate of return is still the same no matter what even if I'm using ingots or I'm using coupons rate of return is exactly the same so there is no real difference between us two and I can clearly see it from both perspectives because I do on the side have a free-to-play account just to do some research on uh, so the first thing I want to touch on is well second thing now second thing I want to touch on is a lot of people believe that upgrading your refines and your charms is more important than finishing your bond cards and I want to dispel that myth right now it is not the rate of return on your advanced refines here and this charm boxes here are just so ridiculously low compared to your bond scrolls you can see that I have been buying advanced refines but that's because I have an overabundant of bond scrolls already and just so that people got, can see this. I have two optional packs here, so 60 of any one I need. And I do have like nine more of the regular ones right here. So I'm in no need of Bond Scrolls. And in fact, I actually have a ton down here. See, uh, quite a lot. So to dispel that myth right now, I'm just going to show you the general stats. This was level 8. So this, these are my bond. These are the stats you gain for finishing it up. And you could do a level 6 to a level 9 in approximately 2 weeks. If you get the full amount of sun coins and moon coins. And assuming you know you have the scrolls. It's about 2 weeks I want to say to finish up. Maybe 3 if you're like a little unlucky with the uh, scroll boxes. But uh, yeah. You can gain all these stats. It's about it's over a hundred initiative here that you can gain. And if you come back over here, where I will show you refines, it's really not that much. And also on those, as in the first video I specified, you're supposed to freeze your refines to seven. So you you're not buying advanced refines anyways like that. And if you are, you don't even gain that much. Look, it's. 250 to 315 that's 65 initiative you gain from pushing 7 to 8 you gain 100 plus for just finishing the bond card and you need a lot more because yeah it's 200 here but you want to to finish it you need about a thousand 100 during a rebate week to finish a 7 to a 10 and it gives about 400 of all these stats but the overall investment is just so high that it's just not worth it to buy it with sun coins if your bond cards are not done yet. And then I want to also touch on charms. People feel that charms are very important. Uh, they are in a sense, but not really at the same time. Uh, it's better if I use this as an example. So at a level 9, it gives you 150%. Of whatever you have in your Magatamas and Ruins. I gained 4,695 because I have four level 12s, which are the max levels of your runes, and one level 11. And so, for people to understand this, if I just take these all off, it gives zero. It's 150% of zero. So, it scales on your runes. If you don't have the runes, it's just not worth your time to do it. So, for a better perspective, I will show you this one. 
These are all level 7s. Her charm is level 7. It's 907. So uh, it's like a tiny, tiny boost here. And a level 7 charm is 110%. So it's giving me about a 70... No, it's about 80? 80, 82? 82% gain. You know, 87. 87 uh, initiative gain. It's just not worth it. And I suspect that most people have level 7 runes unless you're a heavy spender. So, the investment rate of it is not worth it. And then I, I hear most people will be like, Hey, so why don't we just buy more keys so that we can upgrade our runes? Yes, you could do that, but the cost of upgrading your runes are ridiculously expensive too. To upgrade one level 11 to a level 12, it takes over 2,000 keys. Yes, you want to do the rebate so that you can get enough keys so that you can get the ultimate essence. But the ultimate essence really doesn't give you that much stats either. Yes, I know the game is all about initiative, but you could play around that. You don't always have to be the fastest to win. You just you, you really just need to not die. That's the main thing. You can always just hold off on your mystery and let them do their stuff first, and then you can just proceed to go after. There's ways to play around it. You just gotta play smart. So, I would suggest always to finish your bond cards first. At least do your move one. Finish the first set and get everything else to at least, like, level six, I want to say. And then worry about picking up these keys. Because... It's a really expensive investment compared to just finishing your bonds. It's relatively cheap to finish a bond. The only hard part is obviously getting the sun coins for your scrolls. But they show up in a lot of event these days. So you can just pick those up and ignore these advanced refines and charms until you finish up your bonds. Or you have an abundant amount of bond scrolls like I do. The other thing I want to touch on is uh, you there's a lot of people who I guess don't realize maybe that your tree also gives you cave keys uh, I just took mine but mine's level 10 uh, it gives you three cave keys or you can take 21 coupons the three cave keys are worth more than the 21 coupons in value but if you're in need of the cave keys, you can just grab three a day here. It adds up. That's 90 a month. Uh, for free-to-play players, the coupons probably outweigh it because you don't get coupons as often. And it's harder to come by, so taking the coupons might be a better idea. It depends on your situation. Everyone's situation is slightly different. But if in need of cave keys, the tree does give you them. And it's a worthwhile thing to grab from here. Uh, so, since the last video, this new system came up, this chakra training. You can see that I did a little bit of it. I think I put like about 2,000 coupons into it to test it out. To see its rate of return. And its rate of return is not that good. Seeing you have to push a lot of coupons in it to get like these minuscule amounts of stats just not really worth the time unless you're you have excess coupons to throw into it and i wouldn't even do it unless it's like a rebate week like fukumaru week and then you know you have excess coupons and you need to hit the numbers then i would do it then or just hold off and wait because they do give you scrolls for this to pull with and so Unless you have like excess coupons, I would just ignore this for now. This one's not that serious. And then there's this one other thing I wanted to show. Uh, ninja tools. These are relatively important. Uh, but as you can see, I have some equipment here that are a little outdated. Uh, I don't want to uh, change them because... As you can see, I have the perfect link up here. And I really don't feel like having to re-roll these things until I get the perfect one again. And the difference in gains is not that serious, so I'm just not bothering with it. But, okay, more importantly, we have these elemental resistance stats here. I was a little bit late to the game, so it's only plus twos that I have. It used to be, I believe, plus four. 
or plus three at least, and it was giving me more, but then they nerfed it, so what are you going to do about it? Um, so you can still get these plus twos now, and the idea is that you drop every stat you have, except because you have five elements in six slots, you get to keep one stat. The idea is that your defense and resist stats do not give you much. So we, we have tested it, it doesn't give much. Tai Pen and uh, Nin Pen, not really worth much either. So the only things that are even remotely worthwhile to keep as your open slot is Critical, Injury, and that's really about it. Because the rest of them don't really give much. Like Nin and Attack, yeah they're nice, they, they look nice on paper, but in practice, it doesn't give much. Compared to these elemental resistances. Because when you have them all, it's about 20%. Uh, as you can see, I took critical. You could pick between critical or injury. I personally prefer critical because what's the use of having this extra critical damage if your critical rate is not high enough to use the critical damage? That's how I think about it. So you can see I have critical on mine. Um, I have a few of injury, but that's because I use one of these tool essences that you get from the ultimate training. With, that had the perfect injury from back in the day, it's 75. So I gave it one of the elements resistances to keep critical and injury on here. Just, I really just didn't want to give up the critical. So you can see that I have some that have injury and critical. And then the element that I always drop is water. There isn't any heavy hitting water skills that I know of at least. Um, I have never seen one. There might be one out there, but I never really seen one that hits super hard that you need these resistances for. And we have definitely tested it back in the day, and we know that these element resistances really matter. It makes you a lot tankier if you actually have them, especially when you're fighting like people who do actual elemental damage. Every little bit of this percentage counts, and it mitigates a lot. So I'll show you what I have here. So I move one. So it's a little higher than what it is supposed to be because I have that chakra system in here, but it's mainly supposed to be about around 20% right now. And then it also mitigates the weakness that you have. Like, you know, B is a lightning element, so he's weak to wind, but because I have the elemental resistances, instead of being like negative percentages and taking extra damage from it he actually has 9% so he still mitigates the damage he doesn't even take extra anymore so it's very important to have these uh, the elemental attacks not as much 3% it doesn't affect too much but like res resisting 20% of water damage or resisting 23% of earth damage it matters it adds up and it changes the game because you're a lot tankier you're taking a lot less damage from certain things that are supposed to hit you for a lot. And the last and final thing I wanted to touch on that I did not touch on last time was the 8 gates. I apparently completely forgot that this thing existed because it doesn't give much. But everyone should more or less have the same general stats here. Uh, there. There is uh, a debate between is there six lock-in stats or is there seven? I feel like there's seven. Some people say there's six. The argument is on the water stat because it only gives you a thousand HP. A thousand HP is barely a standard attack these days. Uh, I say that you know what you take what you can get. A thousand helps. You never know. It might save your life. So. You keep the obvious ones, the fire and the lightning, which is your attack stats, the critical and the injury. Uh, you obviously need damage reduction. Damage reduction matters a lot. It helps you tank. And you obviously went quick for initiative. So the one that's always in question is the eighth one. And it's really a pick between either life recovery, control, or uh, Compo, which is Gale. I don't have a red Gale here. And it's it's an argument between those three because every other stat is relatively worthless. The wind and defense one, it mitigates like 10 or 20 damage. 
it does nothing. It does literal nothing. I'd rather take this 211 life recovery than take that wind tier that reduces like 20 damage. Uh, whichever one you get, you can use. I, I just use wood here because I have the higher level one. And you know what? 200 life sometimes helps. Might keep you alive. Same logic I have with the water one. But if you have an ice or a gale, you can use those instead, seeing the control and the combo stats, or stats that you don't usually focus on, and they tend to lag behind in stats. So every little bit helps. Uh, if you feel that you don't need the water, you could drop the water and the uh, eighth one, and then replace it with ice and gale, so it's combo and control to help you with the stats. Is as you can see, even for me. My combo and control are really low. It's 18k versus my 24k stats. So an extra few hundred here will bump it a little bit closer to 19k. It never hurts. Uh, maybe I'll do that down the line. I haven't decided yet, but yeah. Um, this is what it should look like for everyone. Everyone on your team. Same general stats with the exception of the 8th one, which is Earth here. Uh, same one here, which is Wind. And this one, where is that extra one? It's probably up here. Wind. Uh, so, just pick out all your reds that you need for your move one first. Uh, finish them first. Bump everything to a level one. F is wood at level nine. I just never got around to finishing it. Uh, and then just rinse and repeat for every single one of them. But make sure you have a baseline level for everybody. I like to keep everyone at least like level eight or level nine. Before I focused on my move one to bump it, and then I will turn back around and come back for these later on. So yeah, these are those stats that you should be working on. I be don't believe there's anything else really to talk about power-wise, and I hope I gave you my opinions on um, why I think that certain things are better than other things and that we all play this game and we all share the same resources the only difference is that us spenders have a leg up because we get more resources to work with but we still use the same system and we just we all have to look for the best rate of return that we have even if we have excess it's best to find the best rate of return and i hope you guys learned something today all right, bye.